Hi, it's Laurel. Thanks for joining me for an episode of Favorite Things. Let me talk to you about why I started experimenting with golden open acrylics. I really like acrylic painting. Um, that said, I also work outside in plein air and I use water mixable oils for that. But here's a little snafu I ran into. This painting I created back in early December and it is now March 1st and this painting took until a week and a half ago to fully dry. Although I love water mixable oil, I can't sit around for a painting to dry that long. It just, particularly a plein air painting. One thing if it's a big canvas, I've put lots of layers on in the studio, but this one I was like, eh, okay, that's a bit much. Um, and I had a commission request. So the painting up above here, I'll grab this guy. This is a little pastel I created uh, over the summer. And I had a commission request that required me to repaint that in acrylic, which is the painting you see right here. So it seemed like the perfect opportunity to give it a go in Golden Open. I wanted to test drive the Golden Open acrylics because I wanted to be able to achieve some of those smooth blended edges. And that's really tough to do in acrylic. Um, I am not sponsored by Golden. These are paints that I have purchased myself to test drive. Um, just out of my own curiosity. So overall, the Golden Opens have worked really, really well for me. Um, they are a longer working time, and in normal weather, I would say it's up to two hours, and then I need to let things dry overnight because you get this really weird tacky layer where it feels like it's dry, but if you reintroduce water, um, it will loosen the pigment and you'll get some muddy kind of colors if you're mixing or trying to glaze. So you do need to let it dry for a full day before you can do a glaze layer. The week that I was working on this commission, it was below zero for two weeks straight. So um, very cold, but the humidity was extremely low, super low. So when I was working with this paint, instead of having a couple hours of workable time, I noticed it was more like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. That said, had I been working with standard acrylic, it would have been an even shorter working time. So I really appreciated having this and being able to take my time with getting the mixes that I really wanted to use in this painting. And I think it turned out pretty well. It has a nice contrast between soft edges and distinct hard edges for the subject with that bird. It does not handle at all like an oil paint. This little guy is my plein air oil painting. And if I hold it on edge, let's see if I can get this on the camera. Not really. Um, even though this is a quick painting, there's a lot of texture that builds up, there we go, in the whites. So that impasto layer um, where you build up your thick light colors, whites and whatnot for the clouds, you can't do that in acrylic open acrylic or regular acrylic. So it's a very flat profile. For me, that's fine. I find that is easier to photograph. So when I share my work, I like that. Um, but if you're trying to duplicate oil, it's not going to be an exact replacement. For me, it's just figuring out how much workable time I have based on the conditions I'm in. So I think in the next week or so, I'm going to have conditions that allow me to get out and test drive this as a plein air option, which I'm super excited about. There are some quirks that need to be addressed when you're working with an open or slow drying acrylic. Uh, it is its own thing. It's different from oil. It is obviously very different from regular acrylic, uh, but it has some of the, the positives of both of those mediums. Let's talk about palette. When I paint, I use a split primary or also called a prismatic palette. Basically, I have a warm and a cool of each of the primaries. So here you see a lemon yellow and a yellow ochre, uh, a lizarin crimson and cad red light, and a thalo blue and an ultramarine blue. Normally, I would use ultramarine and something like cerulean, but 
my cat exploded my tube of cerulean, so I had to go to a different blue and actually needed a stronger blue to get some of the background mixes that I was going after. I also use titanium white. Occasionally I use a mixing white, but I have a standard acrylic instead of an open for that. And my black is bone black. I also like burnt sienna as a way to sketch in. And also it's a really nice mixing color that I think adds some warmth to these subjects where I'm working with birds or even a landscape. I hope this review of Golden Open Acrylics was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and feel free to follow along at Laurel Sunberg Studio. Till next time, bye bye.